What's going on guys? Big Jar back again with Warp Academy. And today, I wanna to talk about Captain B. It's the newest addition to the Captain Bundle by Mixed and Key. And it's a really great all-in-one drum software synth. I find it to be really helpful when sketching ideas. In this video, I'm gonna be going through just about all the controls in Captain Beat. So by the time you're done watching this, you guys should feel really comfortable getting in there and just getting creative. All right, let's get into it. So what is Captain Beat? Captain Beat is the newest addition to the Captain Bundle by Mixed in K and is a one-stop shop drum machine, doing everything from allowing you to edit your samples to easily mixing and matching patterns from different genres. In addition to that, and probably one of the standout features is it comes pre-loaded with canned drum beats programmed to feature many popular and modern drum styles. And the integration between the patterns in the kits is actually pretty cool too, which we'll get into in just a moment. When we first open up Captain Beat, we noticed that it looks a lot like the rest of the Captain plugins in the bundle, but it doesn't open up and connect to the other Captain plugins like we might expect. This opens up as a standalone drum machine. You can resize this plugin easily by going down to the bottom right hand corner and just pulling it out to the size you want. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. And you'll notice the middle of the screen is where all the drums live. You'll see 16 populated drum instruments, all with the same functionality. Right down here in the bottom right, we could zoom in or zoom out both horizontally and vertically. That'll help us get those micro edits that we want to get. Also, you'll notice that there is a snap to section down here, allowing us to snap to specific time values, or you could choose no snap or smart snap. These are just a few of the touches that make programming Captain Beat super easy and fun. In the top left corner, we've got our three different command types for adding to and editing our drum patterns. This is going to give Captain Beat a lot of flexibility from editing patterns to drawing our own or enabling magic record. As expected, we've got our velocity control right underneath the 16 instruments. And if we bring our attention back up to the top, you'll notice we have four different panels, basic, controls, effects, and export. And we're gonna talk about each of them in detail. And just above that, at the top of the GUI, we've got our sequencing sections, okay? Broken down into verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and drop. They're all the exact same, but it's actually really cool to have a built-in sequencer. And after we pull all of our music into our arrangement and we're not using Captain Beat to compose anymore, we can simply turn the MIDI in tab on and this will make Captain Beat act as if it was a software synth. And then hidden off to the left here, we've got our pattern selector. Okay, we could jump into here and select any kind of drum pattern we want as a starter. This is also where you'll find all the different drum kits available, as well as the drum kit filter and volume slider. All right, that about wraps up our overview. Let's start diving into this plugin and see what we could do. All right, so in our little mock-up sketch here, I've used Captain Chords, Captain Deep, and Captain Melody to create a simple backing track for us to work with while we create our drum. Okay, I've got a simple guitar, simple bass line, and a pluck. Let's go ahead and hear that real fast. So let's go ahead and turn the loop back on, jump down into Captain Beat, and as we open it up, we'll be able to see that we are in the default position right now. I just loaded it in. So let's go ahead and start sketching out an idea. This loads up with a four on the floor, four one one default preset. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our patterns, okay? And there's lots and lots to explore, but I'm gonna go ahead all the way down here into this dub category. And in here, I found quite a few beats that had the snare on the three. And that's the feel that I need right now. So let me go ahead and demo a few of these for you. Not too many because there are so many here, but let's go ahead and hear a few and then start building. Okay, let's try out this Echo 140. A little bit busy for me. So let's head on down a little bit further and let's try maybe trade winds. All right, it's almost a good starting point. And let's go back one and try style 130.
Okay, I'm feeling that one. That one's got some good potential. We can go ahead now and explore our drum kits if we want. So right now, that pattern was being made with the 411 drum kit. So I can go in here if I want and switch up my kit. So let's go ahead and try a few. Let's go into the hip hop one. Not bad, lost kind of some of the energy. So let's head on down and try ourselves. Nice 909. All right, let's stick with the 909. It's a classic and I love it. So that's our pattern selector, guys. We're able to quickly find a vibe that we like, both with the pattern and we can go ahead and change the drum kit until we get a good starting point. That's what this is all about. That's where this really shines to me. It's a great drum sketching idea machine. I didn't have to think about anything. All I had to do was decide which one worked best for me to start at. Next up, let's take a look at the sound design panel to take even more control. All right, so our control panel is found right up here, okay? And we've got four tabs. We've got basic, controls, effects, and export. So let's go ahead and just start with the basics. So we can see that the first thing you see in the line is the hotkey. This is going to display the key on your computer keyboard that will trigger that sound. So if I just hit A on my computer keyboard, then the kick will play. In fact, every one of the drums in Captain Beat has a hotkey note already automatically assigned to it. And we're gonna go ahead and circle back to this in the next section. Next up, the channel name just clearly labels it. Next, we've got some extra control here. We've got rhythm and we've got sample as well as a spot that you can drop your own custom sample here. So let's go ahead and change up the rhythm a little bit and just see what happens. I can simply scroll through these, demo as many as I want and simply pick the one that works best for me. Currently we're using the 909 kit, but what if we wanna mix and match a bit, which is a very common thing. So I can go into here and simply change the kick if I want to any of the other kits available. So what I'm gonna do is just go down and pick the 411 kit. That's the one we had earlier and I know that I like that kick. So now we got the 411 kick with the 909 kit. And furthermore, I can go ahead and drag my own sample here. So I'm gonna jump into my good old dark funk sample pack by Warp Academy and grab myself a kick and drop it on in. And there it is. So you have a lot of options to find just the right kick that you're looking for. Next up, we've got our controls. And here we've got even more control over each of the single drum samples. The controls will be specific to each channel, but they will all give you the same exact options. Actually, let's go down and shape our hi-hat on this one. So this isn't an ADSR lesson, but attack will increase or decrease the amount of attack, which is the beginning of the sound. The hold increases or decreases the amount of time the sample plays through at its maximum velocity. Lower values are gonna mean a shorter peak and then decay is going to increase or decrease the tail of each drum. So let's go ahead and shape our hi-hats a bit as I like my hi-hats to be a little more articulate. But first, let's go ahead and solo the hats and solo Captain B. And another super cool feature, you'll actually see the waveform change in real time as you're using these controls to shape your sound. All right, here we go. All right, for me, I dig that. But the best part is you can tweak until your heart's content. And don't forget guys, you got that velocity control at the bottom if needed as well. Next up, we've got a small effects section. This effects section here is a per channel effects section. So they affect the channels individually, not the master. So the filter is going to be a high pass, low pass filter and the center does nothing. The sliding it to the left increases the high pass, sliding it to the right increases the amount of low pass. And then we've got a reverb send and a ping pong delay send. Let's just hear what this sounds like as I add a little bit of reverb to the hats and snare maybe. First, I'll unsolo this so we can hear the whole kit.
Don't forget that we do have one master filter over here, and this is also the master volume. This will affect the entire signal coming out of Captain Beat. We're gonna save the export tab for later, as I'm gonna show you guys how to actually bring this out into your DAW. Next up, I'll show you guys how to edit existing beats or inputting beats with hotkeys and MIDI control. But just before we get going, I'd like to invite you to join the community by hitting the subscribe and activate notifications. That way you won't miss a beat and you'll get the heads up on all the things as soon as we post them. So at this point, Captain Beat has really held our hand through our decision-making process. And that's a great thing for starting or sketching ideas. But now that we've got the kit that we like, we've got the pattern we like both for the whole kit and we were able to switch it up on individual drums if we wanted as well. We've added some effects, but we're still not 100% happy. It's not exactly what we want, but that's okay because Captain Beat has given us a few tools for both editing and adding drum notes. They're in the top left. We've got the edit tool, we've got the pencil tool and the magic record tool. The edit and pencil tool are very similar with a few key differences. I can simply draw in notes if I want by clicking. Once I've added them, I can simply drag those notes around. I could also duplicate notes by holding Alt and dragging. And if I wanted to add multiple notes in the row, then I would go to my pencil tool and I could simply hold a note down and drag. And this is gonna be based on the snap grid here. So if I wanted to do 16th notes, I put on the 16th note grid and I've got that, no worries. And if I want to delete them, I'll simply go back to my edit tool, highlight them all and hit delete. So you don't have to just stick with the patterns that they provided you. As I keep stressing, they're great for starting ideas and then we could take it to whatever level we want with all the extra tools. But now let me show you guys how to take advantage of the hotkeys and MIDI input to actually perform your patterns in. So as I mentioned before, each of these drum instruments actually has a key pre-assigned on your computer keyboard. They're all listed right here. And we could use these to perform instruments in. We're gonna go ahead and select our magic record button. And when we do, this little display box pops up giving us some useful information. So when the magic record button is illuminated, you could record notes in real time. Like I said, either with your computer keyboard or a MIDI controller. There's a few extra options right here. We've got quantize, metronome, and auto commit. Quantize will proactively quantize, but is not applied destructively. Metronome just turns off and on, and auto commit will allow you to choose which notes from your performance are kept and which ones are discarded. Remember guys, I'm playing along while screen capturing both audio and video. So my response time is going to be much less than yours. That being said, it only missed my first note or I missed my first note. Either way, we haven't committed anything yet. You could tell because it's all grayed out. So I can go over here and hit done if I want and then everything will be committed. And it's no big deal about the first note because remember I can go ahead and hit my edit button, simply go over here, grab this and pull it right to where it should be. Now we're exactly okay. And I've also noticed the third one's a little off too. Perfect, so let's check this out now. Cool, notice how it's playing from the second measure. All right, if we wanted to play from the beginning, what we could do is we can go over here and select where we want, hit time sync, and now it'll play from that section. Wicked, okay, so we performed in that percussion and then we were able to use the edit tool to actually make it perfect. Let's go ahead and perform maybe a shaker in with a MIDI controller this time. But before we do that, I wanna show you guys this. I pulled this right out of their manual just to show you guys which note is actually assigned to each instrument. So you could find it on your MIDI controller easily. I'm gonna use the shaker, so I'm looking for A sharp four. Let's go ahead and perform in a cool shaker loop. Okay, we'll go over here and turn on magic record. Same deal guys, the latency makes it a little harder for me to perform these in, but again, no big deal because we could just use our edit tool. But remember first, we have to go over and commit. So they're in, go to our edit tool and move them where they need to be. All right, and now we've got our shakers in. Let's check these out.
And this allows us to not only program our beats in, but actually perform them in. If we're hearing that rhythm in our head and we just want to perform it in, sometimes that's easier than figuring out how to program it. Finally, in the last section, let's get into exporting some of these ideas out into our DAW. So after we're done creating our drums, we're gonna to wanna to export them into our DAW so we can continue working on our project. And we have several options to do that here. Under the Export tab, we've got Channel Audio, Channel MIDI, Master Audio, and Master MIDI. Channel Audio will render that particular channel to audio. So for example, I could render out my kick. Let's do that. Okay, so I'll go over here, kick a selected, Channel Audio right here, and then I'll take it and I'll drag it into my DAW. Now if I solo it and play it, you'll hear the kick. Perfect, playing right from the audio here. Okay, let's unsolo that. And we can delete that for now. Channel MIDI will pull out the MIDI for each particular channel. So if I had an individual kick track, I could pull that out and it'll operate that. The master audio will make a audio render of the entire drum section we're in. So now we're in the verse. So if I go ahead and pull this out, you'll notice the entire drum beat comes out. Okay, perfect. And Master MIDI is what we're going to use to control either Captain Beat as a full software synth or any drum machine such as Drum Rack. So what I could do is go down, grab my Master MIDI and pull it on up to Captain Beat. And then we want to do one more thing. We want to go down here and go to MIDI in and we're going to turn off this option. So when we close it, it will not play automatically. So let's go ahead and do that. Nice. So now it's playing directly from Captain B. Finally, we can drag it up to a drum rack. Let's hear this. So the MIDI will play back with the drum samples that I have inside my drum rack. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for what I want to talk about in Captain Beat. I hope you found that enjoyable and informative. If you guys want to learn more about Captain Beat or pick it up for yourselves, swing by the Warp Academy site. All right, until next time, I'll see you guys later.